this video i'm going to go through histology mcqs on the topic cells and its organelles so it's very important to go through mcqs which is the multiple choice questions because you may encounter these questions in your exams and even in your test one or test two or even during tutorial tutorials so i'm going to go through some of the questions which might be you might encounter in those tests so we have uh, the first question here and the first question says what are the folds on the inner mitochondrial membrane membrane called so the mitochondrial has two membranes we have the outer membrane and the inner membrane and the inner membrane has folds so what is the name of that inner membrane so a says plasmalema b glycocolix glycocolix and then c proto, uh, protoplasm d criste e ground substance so what is the name of that inner membrane which has folds so plasma lemma is simply the other name for plasma membrane and glycocolix is simply the polysaccharide it is a carbohydrate which is on the outer space on the outer surface of the plasma lemma of the cell membrane and then protoplasm is simply the cytoplasm and the nucleus all together makes the protoplasm so the christe is the mitochondrial membrane which has folds inside the mitochondria the ground substance is simply the cytosol which is the cytoplasm the liquid uh, of the cytoplasm is also called the ground substance so the correct answer is d move on to the second question which organelle is involved in lipid metabolism so among these organelles here a to e there is one which is involved in lipid metabolism so we have the rough endoplasmic reticulum the b we have smooth endoplasmic reticulum c we have the lysosome d we have the Golgi apparatus e we have the mitochondria so which one is involved in lipid metabolism so rough endoplasmic reticulum is involved in protein synthesis because of the ribosomes which are attached on the surface of the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum it is the one which is involved in lipid metabolism so the correct answer is b c lysosome these are involved in digestion they are made up of digestive enzymes and d gogai apparatus this gogai apparatus what it does it simply sorts and packages the proteins produced by the rough endoplasmic reticulum after the proteins have been produced by the rough endoplasmic reticulum now the gogai apparatus what it will do it will package and sort those proteins then e mitochondrial just produces energy atp it is in the this atp and thus it's called the powerhouse of the cell so the correct answer is b so move on to question three which organelle contains detoxifying enzymes detoxifying enzymes so a ribosomes b peroxosomes c microfilaments d we have the centrioles e the nucleoli so the organelle which contains detoxifying of enzymes a ribosomes these they just produce proteins peroxosomes these are the ones which are responsible for detoxifying detoxifying okay so if you have taken something poisonous let's say alcohol or a drug so what peroxosome does is it detoxifies what uh, the poison or the alcohol or the drug so that's the function of the peroxosome and the microfilament this is uh, if you have done cell junctions uh, these are involved in and uh, making those junctions so it is part of the cytoskeleton microfilaments and the centrioles these are these they produce what we call the microtubules so these microtubules are involved in cell division and other functions then the nucleoli is simply the dark part which is also called nucleolus nucleolus and in plural we say nucleoli 
So the correct answer for this question is peroxosome, which is responsible for, which contains detoxifying enzymes. We go for question four. Which of the following is not a, membra a membranous organelle? Which of the following is not a membranous organelle? So among all these uh, multiple choice, he, uh, these choices, one is not is not a membranous organelle. So we have the microtubules, we have the cyto cy uh, lysosomes, we have the peroxosomes, we have the mitochondrial, and E we have the endoplasmic reticulum. So all these B to E they have what the membranous organelle except microtubules. When you look at the lysosomes, they uh, have a membrane which um, which covers or which encloses enzymes which are involved in digestion. Peroxosomes, well, from talking about peroxosomes, they also have enzymes which detoxifies uh, poison or any harmful substance. Micro mitochondria has two layers, the cristae and the outer membrane. And then my, uh, the endoplasmic reticulum, it also has a membrane, but except microtubules. So the correct answer is A for question 4. Move on to question five. What is the limiting membrane of a cell? What is the limiting membrane of a cell? A, plasma lemma. B, glycocolix. C, protoplasm. D, criste. E, ground substance. So which one among these is a limiting membrane? So when you're talking about the membrane, the only membrane we have here is criste and plasma lemma. So when you look at this, plasma lemma is simply the cell membrane. The cell membrane is also called the plasma lemma. So the plasma lemma is responsible for limiting, limiting. It limits the substances which enters and leaves the cell. So it is the one which is responsible or it is, it is the limiting membrane in, of a cell. The glyco Glycocolix is simply the uh, these are polysaccharides, the carbohydrates on top on the surface of the cell. Protoplasm is simply the cytoplasm, and together with the nucleus is called protoplasm. Criste is the membrane inside the mitochondria, so it can't qualify to be the limiting membrane of a cell. Then from there, I have the ground substance, which is simply the cytosol, which is the cytoplasm, the liquid part of uh, the site of, of the cell is called the ground substance. So the correct answer here is uh, the plasma lemma is the limiting membrane of the cell. Question six, what is also called a low resistance junction? A low resistance junction. So we know junctions, we have tight junctions and gap junctions. We have adherent junctions, adhesive junctions. We have the other types of junctions like the dosmosome and desmosomes, those are uh, junctions. So which one among these here is low resistance junction? So we have a tight junction. A, B, we have a gap junction. C, we have junctional epithelium. D, junctional complex. E, none of the above. Okay, so the tight junction uh, when you look at tight junction, it is so tight as the name implies, it doesn't allow substances to move across. Like if you have a tight junction here, then the substance for it to move from this side, it doesn't allow substances to move from this side to the other side of it. That is a tight junction, so it can't be, it can't be low resistance. So it can be high resistance. So gap junction does allow, it allows, it has small poles where uh, substances can pass through so it is also called low resistance so we can't look at c d and e because c we do not have a junction which is called junction of ethereum we do not have a junction or complex we only have tight and gap junctions so the correct answer here is gap junction so it is also called low resistance junction move on to question seven which of the following is an organelle so we have inside the cell, we have what we call small organs called organelles. So among these, which one is qualifies to be an organelle? We have pigment, glycogen, lipid, and secretory granules. E, we have mitochondria. So which one is an organelle? 
an organelle here which is found in a cell is what is mitochondria pigment glycogen lipid and secretory granules are inclusions inclusions these are substances which do not need energy to perform their functions like uh, they perform their functions without uh, energy in that way so an organelle here is mitochondria and these others are inclusions we move to question eight what is the term for the general process that cells use this is what's supposed to be used to bring things into the cell so the process the cell used to bring things into the cell a endocytosis b exocytosis c pinocytosis d phagocytosis and e active transport endocytosis this is the process that that a cell used to bring things inside the cell that is endocytosis and exocytosis this is a process the cell used to remove substances out of the cell pinocytosis is also called um, uh, drinking some uh, yeah, like uh, this is a process that the cell use to get in droplets of uh, substances yeah so in phagocytosis this is used to uh, engulf like uh, phagocytosis you get solid particles the cell use that to eat in fact to eat or to um, get in solid substances but the general process that the cell use to bring things into, in, into the cell is uh, endocytosis active transport this is uh, this uh, it uses energy ATP is required so the correct answer is endocytosis we move on to question 9 which organelle produces protein for export which organelle produces very important to note in this question the one which produces protein for export a rough endoplasmic reticulum b smooth endoplasmic reticulum c lysosome d gogi apparatus e mitochondria so mitochondrial we know its function it is a powerhouse it is in the thylase atp and then d gogi apparatus it sorts and um it sorts the proteins okay the protein produced by the endoplasmic reticulum are being sold and uh, rearranged by when packaged by the gogai apparatus lysosome we are from discussing about lysosome it digests smooth endoplasmic reticulum it is involved in lipid metabolism and rough endoplasmic reticulum it produces proteins and for export so the correct answer here is a Question 10. Where are ribosomes constructed? With, where exactly inside the cell ribosomes are constructed? A. Cytoskeleton. B. Peroxosome. C. Microfilaments. D. Centrioles. E. Nucleoli. So where the ribosomes are produced uh, is, is inside the nucleus, the place called the nucleolus. In plural, we say nucleoli. That's where ribosomes are produced. The centrioles, this produces what we call microtubules, which are involved in cell division uh, at the time when the cell separates or the nucleus splits the my, my microtub microtubules, the spindle fibers, are produced from the centrioles. Then microfilaments, these make up the cytoskeleton, they're involved in the making of the cytoskeleton and peroxosomes. This produces enzymes which detoxifies uh, substances, harmful substances inside the cell. And then inside the skeleton, this is simply it anchors or it makes the cyto uh, skeleton of the cell. So the correct answer it is the nucleoli. That's where ribosomes are constructed. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel so that you. Each time I post a video concerning MCQs in histology and in other courses, you may see, have a chance to watch. And also leave a comment on the comment section concerning this video.